welcome back. Today I am barefaced. I am ready. We are going to be diving into the brand new BoxyCharm for the month of July. This is the base box, so it is the $25 variation. I have not done a try on of a subscription box in a really long time, so I figured it is time to do it. So we are gonna be diving into this today. I did already pre-cut it. I did take a little peek inside so that way I knew what to have on the face already. Spoiler alert, it was nothing. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into it because I wanna get some makeup on. So let's dive into this box for the month of July. And here we go. The theme of the month is sunshine. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. Looks like we got one, two, three, four, five, five products to choose from here, which is the normal amount. <laughs> I don't know, I keep counting the base ones. Maybe one day they're gonna throw in an extra one. But yeah, let's get started with this one. So item number one up for me in my box is the Clear Skin Club. It is the Vitamin C Brightening Booster. It retails for $49.95, $50 serum. Oh, that's a pretty bottle though. It is the Watermelon Green Tea Pineapple. Ooh, that sounds nice. It's supposed to supercharge your cream or your serum to firm, brighten, Okay, so directions here. It says, as a booster, mix three drops in to enhance your cream or your serum. As just a straight up serum, apply three drops directly to the face and neck after cleansing. I did cleanse right before I sat down, so I'm good to go in that department. And I think I'll use this as just a serum. Hold on, let me give it a little shake. And then let's pull out the dropper. One, two, three. And press in to the skin. Hmm, doesn't actually smell as fruity as I was hoping. Honestly, it kind of smells floral in a way. Maybe my nose is just weird, but I do not smell any citrus. But I'm just pressing that all into the skin. Well, that is all worked in, it felt nice. Feels like it's absorbing well. Not much more I can really say about a serum right away. <laughs> And wow, that was fast. Let me really quickly put on some foundation and some concealer before we go on to the next step. Oh my God, I look horrifying on camera with the just foundation on. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, now that I look like Palpatine, I am ready for the next product in the box. Let's fix the situation. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need some brows. I need some brows ASAP. So in the box here, we got some Hourglass. This is the Arch Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil. It retails for 28 bucks, and this is actually pretty cool to be sent some Hourglass brow products. It is a little bit, you know, concerning when they do send shades, but it does look like they got the right one this time. I have been getting a string of just wrong shades sent to me by BoxyCharm, but this time they did send me blonde, which is according to my beauty profile. So here's what blonde looks like, and that looks like it's gonna be pretty good for me. I definitely got lucky this month that they actually send me the right shade. I'm pretty happy about that, because I was pretty excited about our glass being inside the box. So let's see if this pencil works out. I'm starting to look more human again, I like it. Just top it off with some Benefit Give Me Brow. That actually worked out really nicely. I liked the fine tip of it, it was creamy, it helped glide on, and I was able to create some really fine hair strokes in the front, which is really good for me. So let's move on to product number three in the box. And this one's gonna be interesting because I actually haven't used a product like this before. This is by Cream. It is the Toasty Cushion Bronzer. It retails for 20 bucks, and I'm kinda nervous to use this. Oh, I get it, it's got a little toast on there. Oh, hopefully my light doesn't make you miss it. Let's take a look at it here. Got a little safety seal, pull that off. Slip on the little cushioniness. And here is what Toasty looks like. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I'm hoping that this isn't too dark. 
Uh, I think I'm gonna dab some of this off on my hand real quick because I really soaked that sponge in there to get that off. I'm gonna dab some of it off on my hand and then apply it. So it says best applied with the cushion. So let's try it out. Oh, I'm nervous. I feel like this is just making it worse. I need a new sponge. I need a sponge. <laughs> Okay, so I have this little guy that I never use. This is a Luxie sponge that we got in a trio set from BoxyCharm. I haven't used the mini before. Oh my god, that looks awful! That is not happening. Actually, it looks like it's removing the foundation underneath. Hold on, I'm gonna switch the sponge. I'm actually just gonna take the foundation sponge I was using before this, see if I can blend it out with this. Okay, it is it is helping. It is helping to tone it down because whoa, that was not working. I should have known. I didn't enjoy the Luxie sponge, the large foundation sponge. I did feel like it was too rubbery and it did eat a lot of the product. So I think that's where I messed up was using that Luxie sponge because it just shifted around all the product. I should have gone for my foundation sponge from the get-go. Let's try again. I'm gonna pick up a little bit, a little bit more product here. Just a little dab, a little dabity dab. Okay, I think this is all blended into the best of my ability here. I don't know if I'm going to be converted to the ways of the cushion bronzer just yet. That was a little bit uh, <laughs> scary. I think I'll have to give it a few more tries to try to get the hang of it. Since this was my first time dabbling into cushion bronzer, I do also think that this shade was just a little bit too dark for me. I feel like it looks a little bit muddy in person. I don't know about on camera if you guys can tell, but in person, it has a little bit of a muddy look, so I think the shade is just a little bit too dark for me. But yeah, I mean, I tried it. <laughs> I'm gonna wait to put on any kind of blush and highlighter because I'm gonna wait to see what I do with the eyes. So let's move on to item number four in the box. So I got the Pure Festival palette, the 2.0 version. It retails for 36 bucks, and oh my gosh, speaking of pure, who else is super excited about the Raw Beauty Christy collab? I was so excited for her. I tried my best to get my hands on that palette and unfortunately it was sold out by the time I got my place in line. I got that line thing when I entered the website and it was like, put in your email, we'll let you know when it's your turn. And my line number was 57,000 and some change. And I was like, oh my God, there's no way I'm gonna be able to get this palette. So unfortunately, by the time it was my turn, it was sold out. So I didn't get my hands on it, but I'm for sure grabbing it when she restocks. Cause I was excited about that one. But uh, anyways, <laughs> talking about the one we got here in today's box. Here is what the festival palette looks like. Let's do some swatches. See what we're working with. Man, oh man, there are some pretty looking shades in this palette. There are 12 inside, five are mattes, and then there are two that look like there are gonna be topper shimmery shades, shimmery metallic -y toppers, <laughs> and then the other five are gonna be just straight up metallics. The ones that look like they're gonna be the toppers is this top gold one, and then the light blue one down here. That's at least how they look like when I'm swatching them. All right, so let's try this on here. What do I want to do? Tough choice. Tough choice. Got some fun colors in here. Right, let's get started with photo op here at the top. And I'm using the Go Getter brush, which I'm pretty sure we got in a uh, previous boxy charm as well. I'm just gonna run this all into the cream. And I think I'm actually gonna dab in a little bit of the Dreamland at the same time. All right, and I'm gonna run the same two colors underneath the lower lash line too. Just a little dab, 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 dab. dab. 
Now let's dip into On Set, the darker brown shade, and see if we can get a little drama going on with this look, even though it is currently 9.34 at night. <laughs> Now that that is completed, the real question lies. Do I want to go bold or do I want to go a little bit safe? Let's do a little in between here. I'm going to go for vibes. Gonna pick that up on my makeup geek. Fold eyeshadow eyeshadow brush, give it a little spritz. Pop this all over the lid. I got a little bit of fallout with that one, so I'm just gonna take a powder brush, try to whisk some of that away. The other shades had been really good. It's just that foiled one. And then I wanna see how this looks. The one that I was saying looked like a topper shade, right over here, euphoric. I'm gonna use the other side of my brush, the side I didn't use for that one. Again, using a little setting spray, popping that on top of that vibes shade. Oh yeah, that's actually way better using your fingertip to apply that one. That ended up being kind of a fun combo there. You can see some red, see some gold between. I think I'm just going to clean up the edges with a little bit more of that onset shade. Just right over here. Just so it all kind of blends together. But before we top this off with some mascara, we got one more product in the box. And it is a... Graphic Liner. This is, one is by Dose. It is their Fierce and Fine Graphic Pen. That retails for 21 bucks. Classic black liner with a fine felt tip applicator. Let's do this. Moment of silence. Glide it on real easy. Let's try to mimic the other side. It's not bad. That actually ended up working out really nicely. It was liquidy enough to where it went on easily, but not overly liquidy where it started to bleed everywhere. So that's really nice. And I do really enjoy that it was the felt tip. That's my personal favorite when it comes to liquid liners. So I'm happy with that. I'll definitely have to try it on tomorrow though and uh, see how it wears throughout the day because I probably will not be wearing this much longer after this video since it is so late. So I'll have to give it another try to see how it wears throughout the day. But uh, first impressions on it, definitely good. All right, let me finish up with some mascara, some lashes, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, and here we have it, the final look for the BoxyCharm July try-on. Now, honestly, I actually really enjoy the way that this look ended up turning out. I was a little bit worried there once we hit that cushion bronzer, but I think it pulled itself together all the way in the end here. Which brings me to the items. And I mean, you guys can already guess at this point, I probably don't even need to say it, but <laughs> the only one that I was really iffy about was that cushion bronzer. The other items, I mean, first impressions wise, they worked out really nicely. So I think this was a good box for July. Let's add up our total here for the month. And our grand total for the box is $154.95. So all in all here, I'm actually very happy with my July box. You guys let me know though down below in the comment section, did you guys like your box? Did you think it was a win? I know there was quite a few different variations out there, so I'm definitely really curious. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's unboxing and try on a little different spin. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that little bell button. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!